So by 2000, we saw daylight. And uh, we begin to uh, get better. We are able to pay back $2 million of debt to our government link partner. There was a breakthrough. We even returned $0.5 million back to the EDB, the dot-com investors, and they were so happy. And up to today, they are still my friends. I did not betray them. Whenever we come for dinner, we invite them, and they are so grateful that, you know, although they lost a lot of money, you know, partly my fault, partly not my fault, you know. I know that I cut my best and I did try to give them half a million. Hey, we become friends. So I realized that integrity do pay. And we started to pay doctors promptly. And, uh, but then we faced with one problem. I still have 50 shareholders. <laughs> try to buy out 50 shareholders. Some of them own $100 worth of shares. Some $1,000, some $2,000. You can never meet them. If you ever go to see a GP clinic, they make you wait two hours. And by the time two hours, I'll be sorry, I have to rush for lunch. And most of them don't know what is uh, M&A, uh, Member of Association and so on. You try to talk to them about company rule, they, they don't understand. You send them letters they don't read for weeks. You try to get them together, it's impossible. Somehow or other, there was a public listed company that was going IPO, uh, a pre-IPO uh, company came along and decided that, hey, MAC is an exciting company, let's eat up MAC. And soon all my 50 shareholders will clean up. And, uh, now I face another problem. I have a public listed company with a GLC, government link company, as my shareholder. I suddenly become an employee of the company. I'm the CEO now, I'm employed because I also sell it. At the same time, I save up all my, you know, the, the 50 shareholders who came in because I converted the debt into equity. I managed to redeem back, I was so happy. 10% more, no, actually. And I also sold 10% more. So now I become an employee officially. And remember, I now have to attend a board meeting and they made, waited for me to, uh, I waited for 45 minutes for the first board meeting and they wanted me to set up more clinics. I said, no, I don't want to set up clinics. It's so difficult to deal with doctors. I want to venture into managed care. I want to have a system that link up doctors in Singapore and Malaysia, but they don't have the vision or the dream. That's when I realized that we are wrong partners. And they asked me, doc, can you go back and write a white paper about your plan? I said, I am here. I waited 45 minutes to see you guys. Why don't you just let me present what I have in mind? No, uh, go back and write a white paper. And before I left the door, they say, uh, Dr. Lowe, uh, not too thick, uh, not too long, not too short. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's what you get, you know, when you get a, 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 a shareholder like that with a big board. So I went and said, okay, I'm supposed to write a paper not too long, not too short. You know what I did? Don't try this, all right? I selected the font size 5. The margin of the paper was 0.2 mm. The color of the font was white. I drafted the white paper one page. I sent it to them. <laughs> it was uh, quite funny and they called me and I said, Why did you send me a white paper? I said, You asked for a white paper not too long, not too short. You got it. <laughs> That's what I did, okay? And the long and short, in the end, I decided that I decided that enough is enough. These two corporate shareholders, they don't share my visions, we're not aligned. I decided to buy them out. So I maneuver a management buyout, very friendly one. I propose to them, you want clinic, I give you all the clinic. You want this, you take this. I only want the, 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 the system that we built to link up the clinic. At that time, the debt system, the link of the clinic wasn't making money. So they are more than happy to give me the mess. And I'm more than happy to inherit the mess. But I don't want the clinic, so I give it to them. So we left, you know, with the management buyout in a very friendly manner. And after I got all my 50 shareholders out of the business, no more big boys as my shareholders, I'm finally free to be creative to be the real entrepreneur. No more naughty things like writing white paper with a white color font. And finally, in the year 2000, we got our dreams, okay? We link up few hundred clinics, and today we finally link up 1,000 clinics. Last time, I had to beg my first 20 doctors to join me, literally. And because I begged them, I was at the mercy. Whenever there was a complaint, I go and see them. I was like the servant. Now, I have a long list of people queuing up to join us. 
because we are feeding all this clinic with lots and lots of business. We are processing well over a million claims in Singapore. And now the systems, you know, it's not just, uh, the clinics are not just linked up by internet, they are also linked up by iPhone apps, by terminal technology, IVR and so on. And we are now supporting majority of the insurance company, all the big names are using it. So we are processing all the outpatient claims for them. So our business is about providing a cashless uh, platform of linking up the doctors to all the stakeholders in, in healthcare. The stakeholders are the employer, the insurance company, the brokers, and even the individuals to provide a platform for cashless outpatient visit. So if you see it, if you are working for say Star Hub and you need to see a doctor, you do not have to go there and pay cash. Sometimes you forgot to bring your card, you can just take your iPhone, I'll show you some of the, the things that we developed. iPhone, this is my membership card. You want to check where are your clinic, just take our app and check the locator. This is all the clinic nearest to you. So this is what we've done and our technology recently was recognized by by, 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 we won the, by the ASME, we won the Infocom Technology Award sponsored by Star. Incidentally, it was also our customers. And I didn't know with that breakthrough, we subsequently got one award after another. This year alone, we won three awards. We won the SME one award, the Prestige Brand Award, and the Enterprise 50 Award. And we are also the finalist for the British Chamber of Commerce for, for extraordinary CSR effort. And that picture down there shows a picture of a MO, where, where we had an MOA signed with a Siloam Hospital, which is owned by Lipo Group. Lipo is one big, gigantic healthcare player in Indonesia. They went there, and it's a huge market. And now we have been invited, we have started in Malaysia, a 550 clinic, we have been invited to go to various countries, Philippines, Hong Kong, Abu Dhabi, and even India. The market is just too big, and I can't cope. One of the reasons why it cannot run fast is enough is because of me. I have a fear of flying. <laughs> I got terrified when the plane goes, you know. So I got to find somebody who can fly. 